Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a transmitter and a receiver for the Arduino. So this is what I'm going to be using. You don't have to use the same thing to get it to work. This is just the way I'm doing it. I've got two Arduino Pro Minis. I've got two FTDI UART. I've got a transmitter and a receiver. I've also got two breadboards and a selection of jump leads. So if I just show you the transmitter and the receiver to start with. So here's the receiver. It's a very cheap thing. It's got four pins. I have absolutely no idea why it's got four pins, but it has. You can see a little chip on there, LM358. And there you go, nothing special. You can see that the two pins in the middle are joined together. Why the heck they're joined together, I don't know. Anyway, that's the receiver. And this is the transmitter. On here you can see that it has three pins. Now there's something really stupid about this little transmitter. You can see the ground pin, the VCC pin, and ATAD. What the hell is ATAD? I don't know. But I think it might be data. The silly thing is, though, is that this is actually ground, VCC, and then data, if I remember rightly. So I don't know what's going on there, but that's the way it is anyway. So this is the FS1000A. And again, you can see how cheap it is. It's not very clean. And it says designator. Designator 11 comment. Designator 10 comment. I don't know. Again, I haven't got a clue what that is. But anyway. Um, so I'll just focus in again. So there are our components. Our modules. And I'll show you how I'm going to wire this thing together now. To start with, the Arduinos. So, on the Arduinos we have the pins over here, these six pins. In my UART, those go together, like that. So they're going to be joined together in the breadboard. We have to be sure that this is 5 volts. There's a little jumper here that's got to be 5 volts. Then, the receiver, we'll start with the receiver. The pins if I remember rightly, are VCC, data, ground. There's not actually any labelling on it. Anyway, VCC, data, ground. So VCC, I'll just focus in again. So VCC, I'm going to connect to the 5 volt pin on the FTDI UART. Ground is going to be connected to ground. And data, I'm going to connect to pin 2, digital pin 2, on the Arduino. And this is more or less the same. Remember rightly, data is this pin. VCC is middle and ground. So, I'll th I think I'll start now. So, let's start with the transmitter. I'll push this in here. VCC and ground. This one is ground. And this one is VCC. You can actually see on the labels on the actual FTDI. It reads DTR, RX, TX, VCC, CTS, and ground. So I'll plug those in there. Then I'll plug this into the Arduino. I'll plug the Arduino into this rather. Okay, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. But you can see what I've done there. Okay. I'll do the same for the for the other one. Okay, so up to now it looks like that. Plug the transmitter in there and receiver in there. Let's bring this up so you can see it a bit better. Okay. 
need to plug the power in. So I think it is VCC there and ground at the end. And here we need VCC in middle and ground there. And data plug in there for now and there. And I want to plug it into pin number two. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So that goes in there, so it's fifth from that side. And that's wired up correctly now. Just plug these in. Alright, now I'll make the sketches. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your browser and go to this website here. Then when you're here, you should see this link here. So download that link, that zip file. And then when you've downloaded it, go to Arduino, go to include library, so go to sketch and then include library, and then click on add zip library, then put in the location of where the zip file is, for me it'll say it already exists or something like that, yeah, but if you've not installed it before, it will then install, and then go to file, and then examples, and then down here you should be able to see Radiohead, there it is. So go to Radiohead and then go to ASK and then click on Receiver. So first of all let's delete this because we don't need that. Um, here we can delete this line and we can uncomment that. I'll change this to 2, 9, 10, doesn't really matter but we'll change it anyway. Then down here we can delete this and we'll change it. So we want string str equals nothing. Then at the bottom we want serial dot print lun str. Oops asking me to save so I'll save this over over one I've got if I can. Yeah, test. Then we could do the for loop in here for int i equals zero i is less than plus len i plus plus. Then we'll put serial. No, actually that's correct there. So. Now we need to add into string, so str plus equals, then we need char, buff, oh there's only one f, i. And I think that should do it. This basically um, lets us see the text that we're receiving, because if you didn't do this it would return hexadecimal. So this is to be able to return string. Anyway, let's try and upload that. Uploading. Done. Right. There isn't really a good way of testing to see if that's worked or not, but what we can do, if I bring up the serial console, you can see here, when it begins, if the initialization has failed, then it will print a print some text. So I've got the serial console up and I'll just reset the Arduino and see if it gives me a message saying unit failed. And it hasn't so that's fine. Now it's time to do 
through the transmitter. So I'll close that. I'll unplug the receiver for the time being and plug the transmitter in instead. Okay. And now go to File and then Examples and then Radio Head and then Ask. And then we need to go to the transmitter. Let's make that bigger. Delete this. And this will be the same pin 2. Oh no, sorry, it's not the same actually. Pin, say anything there. Then this one will be pin 2, and then this one can be pin 10. What this is, is um, here's the speed, then the pin to receive on, then the pin to transmit on, and then um, I think it's something like push to talk or something like that, which I'm, I'm not going to be using. So that represents pin 2, which is what I want. And then this is saying consonant char array message. Hello, so let's improve on that. Hello, my name is Anthony. And driver.send, strillen, meet so delay 200. Right, okay. So, save that. Then, upload. And it's done. Let's check the init failed thing again. So I've got the serial console up. I'll reset the Arduino and we'll see if we get init failed. No, we don't. So now I'll plug the, let's see, I'll plug them both in now. So I'm just going to plug the receiver in, that's in. Then I'll plug the transmitter in, that's also in. So COM3 and COM6. Let's see if COM3 is doing anything. Yeah, it is. So you can see that the transmitter is transmitting this and the receiver is receiving it. And I'll just show you my little setup now on the camera. Okay, so here you can see the screen and this text is popping up around about five times per second. You can see the transmitter on the right ear and the receiver on the left. And they are plugged in one there, but that side of the laptop. And one here at the other side of the laptop. So that's how you can wire up a cheap transmitter and receiver to an Arduino. So once again thank you for watching and don't forget if you enjoyed this video click subscribe. Thank you, bye!